Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux and Wine. My name is Caitlin and today we are drinking the Apothic Inferno, which is aged in whiskey barrels. So it's a really nice wine. So this is one of my favorite wines, which is weird because I don't like whiskey, but bottoms up. So anyways, we are going to unbox a big, to me, for me, this is really big haul. I normally only buy one, maybe two things at a time for Louis Vuitton, but I went a little crazy because the reverse monogram collection came out and it's been a while since it came out. Most of it sold out. So I had reached out to Manny. So hi Manny. And I was wondering if they had any pieces in Florida. I was like, um, what do you guys have left? And he had a few pieces left and showed them to me. So we're just gonna get right into the big one right here. And now I've gotta try and remember what this is called. It's the, oh, I'm just gonna open it up and show you. It's really exciting. I actually have not seen this bag in person. So this will be the first time I'm seeing it is with you guys. Um, Cause I did not see any of this when it was in store. What we got here. Oh. Okay, so I'm still not sure how I feel about it. The whole reverse monogram thing, I'm just not sure. And now I can't remember what it's called. Okay, so this is the uh, Giant Monogram Wit Chapeau Souple. Maybe, don't know if I'm saying that right. Definitely not French. But um, okay, so I love the fact that it's circular and it does have a cool little like slip. I don't know what you could put back there. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to put back there. And the color is interesting. I've heard several people describe this as like PB&J. Um, you know, very much looks like peanut butter. Um, the lock's really cool. Um, so it looks like you could kind of like lock that if you wanted to for extra security. And it is, uh, I've heard that this is the new Vichette, which is the, um, it's not necessarily treated like waterproof, which was kind of the rumor. It is, um, just slightly uh, honey colored already. So rather than being so light colored, it's already um, slightly darker. So that's interesting. It's got a nice long strap, which is good because I'm tall. Um, and I love the little luggage tag. Let's see the inside. What's in here? Let's see what we got here. Oh, the tags. Okay, it's just the tags in there. It's a cute little pouch though. It's really hard to kind of get in there. I'll do some shots for you guys like on so you can kind of see it and I'll kind of see how I feel about it. I do like that the interior is really soft. I hate that kind of really rough interior with the exception of in my Neverfull. I don't mind it in there, but um, I, again, I think the whole circle bag thing is really cool, um, but I'm just not sure that I'm completely in love with the giant monogram print. So we'll see, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna have to think about it, but it is a really cool bag. That's what I get for not trying it on in the store. I usually am very calculated and I go see it and I look at it and I think about it for a long time, but because this collection was very, you know, in and out and gone and you couldn't really see it in the store and you got a pre-order, there was that whole thing. So I just kind of took a chance. We'll see, I'm gonna try it on. I'll let you guys know how that goes. This I actually got um, right before I actually got the rest of this. I got the, um, it took me a long time to find this, the Key Clay in Damier Eben. Um, I absolutely love it. It's just really great. I love, I wanna keep, cause like my keys are just too big to use the six key holder. I am gonna try it one more time, but um, I found this a lot easier so I can put my key on this and put it in here and then you're good to go. So I did get this recently and I really, really like it. It's just really handy. And also it keeps your keys from scratching your bag. I think that's really valuable. Um, and I think a lot of people don't think about that. And it also just scratches everything. Actually, I'm gonna go and just like leave this stuff out. That would be cute, right? So you can see everything. So anyways, I absolutely love that. So that's a great little piece. And that I just was really surprised at how hard it was to find. I walked into several stores in different states at different times trying to find it. And I finally just called one day and on accident they found it. So anyways, you can just have that person call you whenever one comes in. You just have to be prepared that you're gonna probably have to have it shipped to you if you're not 
in a convenient location to go get it because it's pretty much when one comes in, they're out the same day. So you gotta have your credit card ready to go. So anyways, let's move on to another one. Um, let's see, let's do this one. I think this is the one that came from, yeah, this is the one that came from uh, the Dallas store um, that one of my other CAs, Jason, sent to me. This, I believe, is the, yep, it's a Zippy wallet. Okay, so this, is from the new, I think it's the studded collection. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This is got some really beautiful studding on it. Let's see what the interior is like. Ooh, it's got that great, the, was it rose, uh, rose ballerine interior. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love that. Oh, it smells amazing. Gotta love the smell of new leather. Um, this is absolutely stunning. And I really, I often carry smaller bags, like this size bag is what I'm normally carrying. So this is really great to have a smaller wallet option. I absolutely love it. And I don't own any Louis Vuitton wallets. So this, this will technically be um, my first Louis Vuitton wallet. So that's really exciting. So this is technically my first SLG, I guess, but this will be my first actual like wallet. So that's really great. Although I think this is technically called, let me see, this is technically called the Zippy coin purse. Although I don't totally understand why, because I don't know where you would put, I mean, I guess they mean for you to put coins in there, but I don't totally get that. Um, I feel like they go everywhere, but um, I don't really carry coins. So that's fine for me. That's perfect. But that's awesome and gorgeous. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Also from the Damier Ben studded collection, the um, studded card holder. This is something where I just wasn't sure. Again, it was available. This is, I could not find this online. Um, I couldn't even find photos of it. I think I like this better. Cause again, this is the hard thing about shopping blind is that I haven't seen any of this before, before um, actually unboxing it for you. I'm not sure if this is kind of redundant with this to where I could totally fit a couple of cards in here, but that's really all you can fit in here versus I could put my keys and a couple cards in here maybe. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this, but I do love it and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But this may or may not stay because I do feel like it's kind of redundant with these and I try not to, I really want a little bit more creativity in my collection because I do have a lot of Damier Ben. So we'll see. Okay, so we've got two more, and as you can tell by the size of the box, they're wallets. Okay. Ooh, I know which one this one is. You guys are gonna love this one. I think I'm gonna love this one. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I love this. So this is the Damier Ben studded Sarah wallet. So this one, um, I think this Sarah wallet's pretty classic. They've had it for a long time, and I believe, yep, Rose Ballerine in there. This one makes a lot more sense to me as far as an everyday wallet because I can put all of my cards in here and then I can have a little zipper pocket for receipts and whatever. Um, I really like this. I didn't really do, again, I did like no research on this. Uh, literally Manny sent me pictures and I was like, yes, uh, that and that and that and that. But I probably do need to ask around and see about how is this gonna do as far as like, if I put coins in here, I feel like this could turn black over time. So that's kind of the only thing I'm a little bit hesitant about with this whole light colored interior wallet thing, but I still think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really unique. It's still smooth there too. Even though you have the studding, there's no evidence of it under here. Oh my gosh, stunning. I love it. That's great. A couple more things. So we've got this one. So much packaging. I'm swimming in a sea of packaging. <laughs> I absolutely love these boxes too. These are great. Uh, yep, so this is the giant monogram wallet. I actually prefer the zipper wallet function. So I believe this is the giant monogram zippy wallet. Again, the only problem I have with this is I'm just not sure about the whole giant monogram. I'm not sure if it's me. Ooh, but I like the interior of this. Okay, so it's black interior. It's like a smooth leather. I mean, they're all leather, but like it's different. The texture's different inside here. And then we've got another 
zipper compartment. And then there's like kind of a, I don't know what you, like I guess for receipts and stuff. So you've got like card slots and a slot back here. So you've got a slot back here, card slots, then you've got your zipper slot, an open slot, open slot, kind of a flap slot. Then you've got more open and more card slots. So I think it's got 12 card slots total and then you could definitely fit more cards behind. I really like the setup of this wallet better than the Sarah wallet, but the Sarah wallet's so pretty. I don't know. The only thing is I think, let me think about, I think if you're at the cash register, yeah, I kind of do like it when you can kind of open it flat. I don't know, we'll see. It's been so long, I haven't bought a wallet in. I don't even know how long. It's been a long time. But anyways, this is really cool. Seriously, I need to check out Zippy wallets. I gotta check that out. Oh, and then the last piece, you guys are gonna love. I haven't seen um, anybody unbox this yet. Um, and I don't know if anybody's really paying attention because I know you can, obviously it's really tiny so you can see it's a jewelry piece. This will be my first, I've never bought luxury jewelry. I was kind of a little on the fence about the whole costume jewelry thing. You know, it's not real gold necessarily. And how is it gonna hold up? But I saw this, I'm so excited. Ugh. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. This is, uh, what's it called? I'm sorry, I don't know what anything is called, so I have to look it up. It is the Essential V Pearl Necklace, and I think it's, might be, might be Pearl A, maybe, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's absolutely stunning. So basically the V is all pearl encrusted, so like the original one was very, it was just kind of a gold, V and I want to say it was kind of um it may have had kind of a beveled edge or something. This one is basically the same thing but just covered in pearls and obviously I don't they're not real pearls but I think it's so cool and different. I'm going to put this on. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yes, that's so great. And this actually sold out um in several stores. I had a hard time getting my hands on it, but when I um Manny found it for me, of course, and sent it to me. And he actually um, ordered me another one. Um, so I got another one um, for my mom. So that's what's in here. And then I got another one too, just in case one of my friends wanted one because it was kind of one of those things where I was like, this is gonna sell out. Like, I feel like this is gonna be Louis Vuitton's Chanel Pearl bag because pearls are so crazy. If it's got pearls on it, I'm buying it and we're gonna hang on to it because I don't wanna miss out again. So I think that's, oh, and then I didn't open this up. I think this is uh, some perfume samples that Manny sent me, which I think is a couple I already own. Oh yes, the La Mencite. This is the one that uh, my husband wears. So I got this for my husband. Um, we were, well, he actually picked it out. When my Neverfull got replaced, um, that's when we bought this because um, they were having a fragrance event going on and we had it engraved, it's so cute. I'll show it at some point in a video. This is the one that I wear, which is the, uh, I don't actually know how to pronounce this. I'll insert a shot so you know what it is because I am not gonna try and pronounce that. And then I'm not sure what this one is either, Le Jour C'est La Vie. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Now this one I haven't tried before. So I'm gonna have to give that one, let's see if I can smell it without spraying it because I already have mine on. Ooh, ooh, that smells like it's gonna be nice. Okay, so that is gonna be really fun to try. And plus I love hanging on to these um, because they're really great for travel because I don't have the travel one of that particular, um, of my Louis Vuitton perfume, so. And if you haven't tried their fragrances, I highly recommend it. So, and I'll insert Manny's details below too. If you need anything, he's great. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I absolutely love just about everything that Louis Vuitton does, but this, this particular bag, I just don't think the print is my style, but I absolutely love the, the circle bag. I was shocked that I like that um, because it's so trendy and generally I try to stay more classic when it comes to these pieces that are very much an investment. So yeah, we'll see, but I think definitely, definitely a really great, great haul. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and um, go follow me on Instagram at Lux and Wines. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. We're drinking wine.